Did you really just walk past a target of a lifetime? If you have read much about gold detecting or metal detecting from the experts, you will hear the importance of digging every target. Regardless of the sound that your detector makes or regardless of the ID number that is displayed on the LCD display screen. Whether you are willing to admit it or not, most gold prospectors or most metal detectorists have had days when they do some selective digging and after a long hot day of digging holes it's only natural to get a little bit sloppy but did you just walk by the target of a lifetime is it possible that you did a 30 ounce gold nugget probably sounds exactly like a beer can or any other big chunk of metal of course the mass ratio would indicate that there is a higher probability that it's a beer can but what if it's not what if it's not a beer can? What if it is that 30 ounce gold nugget? So one of the biggest reasons people give up so quickly is the abundance of trash targets they find when they first try gold prospecting. Even the skilled detectorists will spend most of their days digging trash targets. They might spend many days continually digging trash without finding any gold. If you don't have perseverance to put up with the amount of trash you're going to have to dig, then it's doubtful that you're going to be successful at metal detecting for gold nuggets. There's just no way to know for sure what is buried under the ground until you dig it up. If you want to know if that booming target is gold, then you're going to have to dig it up. Sometimes you will walk onto a big patch of targets and your detector will start going crazy because there's multiple targets everywhere. But closer inspection might show that there is a rotting piece of sheet iron or sheet metal and bits of rusty iron are scattered around over the place. They can be very difficult to see. Those targets you are hearing are just bits of iron that have rotted off the bigger chunk. Now, I typically walk past these places because you could spend all day there detecting and digging junk. You should know the area that you're prospecting. Some areas simply don't produce large gold nuggets and some areas only have smaller flakes or smaller picker sized gold nuggets that may not be detectable with your metal detecting machine. If you get a big booming target, you can be pretty confident that it's going to be a beer can or it's going to be trash, since small gold will give a mellow, smoother signal. Look, the truth is, after a long day in the sun, you are fatigued, you are tired, and you just want to get back to the camp and sit down, have a beer, and sit next to the campfire and start working on dinner, you just might get a bit lazier and convince yourself not to dig that target. But only too often I hear of stories of prospectors who spend the day prospecting, digging lead and other trash. They are just about at camp and get a screaming, booming target. They dig and boom, it's a five ouncer. Try not to find yourself getting a little bit sloppy at the end of the day. Dig that target, backfill your hole and continue to camp. In all honesty, you should dig all metal targets whilst you're out there metal detecting. It is the only way to be categorically absolutely sure that you aren't missing any gold. And being selective about what you dig will without a doubt, make you miss some gold eventually. However, the other consideration is how much time you are spending digging after those pieces of trash. If you dig trash and then get an immediate target next to it, dig it. If it's trash, move on. 
If you dig trash up from next to the base of a tree, I typically dig it. And if I get another target in that vicinity, I will dig it. And if it's trash, I will move on. Just remember, most of us aren't gold prospecting to make a living. We are doing it because we enjoy it and we want to have a good time. For me, finding gold is, is just a bonus. It's a byproduct of the journey. If you have a prospecting style that you prefer, then by all means, do it. Stay safe out there, dig those targets, happy prospecting. <music>